An interim report from the Organization of the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons has found chlorine in the samples from a chemical attack in Syria's Douma. The report suggests they found no evidence of nerve agents in the samples collected from two locations. At least 70 people were killed in the attack in Douma earlier this year in April. The regime and Russia have both denied the use of nerve agents or chlorine gas. But the OPCW interim report does suggest that chlorine may have been used. Let's get more on this. We're joined by Paul Walker in Cambridge, Massachusetts. He's the vice chair of the Arms Control Association Board. Many thanks for speaking to us on TRT World, Paul. So uh, yeah, nice what do you make of this report? What is it telling us and what is it not telling us? Well, it is telling us that, uh, first of all, chemical weapons were used, uh, not nerve agent, as your report has noted, but in fact, chlorine. If you look at all the samples that are listed, in this report, uh, almost every single sample has some sort of chlorine or degradation product of chlorine uh, in the sample. So it's important in the fact that, that uh, it's obvious that a chemical agent, in this case a dual-use industrial chemical chlorine, was indeed used. It's still not telling us who did it, so there's no attribution. It's also a preliminary report and doesn't have really any full explanation of all the eyewitness accounts, uh, how the bombs fell where they may have came, come from and the like. So it's, it's still very permanent. Paul, uh, we're actually showing some of the pictures uh, of what happened, images of men, women and children being treated with oxygen, hosed down with water, uh, doctors reporting dilated pupils, blue lips, people struggling to breathe. Is, is this consistent with only a chlorine attack? No. In fact, uh, if, if there are pinpoint pupils, uh, or if you're foaming at the mouth, uh, if you lose uh, body control and the like, it could very well be a nerve agent of some type. And the only nerve agent we've seen used in, uh, or proven used in Syria so far by, by the Syrian military is sarin nerve agent. Uh, but I think it's also surprising too that 70 people have died uh, because chlorine is not you know, particularly all that lethal except in very heavy doses. But the, the report itself from the OPCW you know, this comes over three months after uh, the alleged attack in uh, Douma in early April. Uh, does show that there were two large cylinders that apparently fell through the roof of an apartment building, uh, one right right into a uh, bedroom and another onto a balcony, and that's a bit that's a bit strange. You know, we we don't have any information yet on the circumstances around those cylinders, even though they showed traces of chlorine. So. I think we still have to wait until the final report comes out. I, I expect in probably another month at the most, maybe two months. Uh, but the, the important point I would take away from this is chemical weapons are still being used. This is about five and a half years after they first were alleged to be used in Syria. And the Syrians and their backers in Russia and uh, Tehran uh, continue to deny that this could be Syrian at all. If these two cylinders came from the skies, in some fashion, and there are big holes in the roof right above them, uh, it, it's inevitably the Syrian military, because nobody else there except except uh, the Russians, the Americans, and the Turks, you know, have uh, have aircraft or helicopters in the sky. So I would, f I would tend to believe at this point, but it's still far from totally proven that it's another, another of at least probably eight or 10 proven accounts of chemical weapons by the Syrian military. Paul Walker, many thanks for your analysis uh, speaking to us from Cambridge, Massachusetts.